And the next one coming up, well, I'll just tell you, it ought to be a dandy, and you'll be seeing why in just a moment. As Don Owen comes into the ring, do the introductions on our semi-main event. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall. Introducing in this corner, 245 pounds from Las Vegas, Playboy Buddy Rose. His opponent in this corner, 245 pounds from the Fiji Island, the one and only Jimmy Snooker. The Fiji Island Prince, James Snooker. I do hope to meet a great many of you tomorrow. I will be here at the sports arena from about 11 till 1. I have around 100 of the original coloring books that we put out two years ago. Tom Peterson sponsored same. They were done by my stepdaughter, Diana Goodrich, and are kind of becoming collector's items. And we are down to one more box, I believe it is. And I'll have about 100 of them here tomorrow. I'll be glad to autograph it for you and talk to you about wrestling. So hope to see you in person tomorrow at the flea market here at the Portland Sports Arena at 11 o'clock. Ed Wiskowski in doing some join with the Fiji Island strongman. Jimmy Snuka and it'll be Snuka and partner Ventura against Rose and Wiskowski Tuesday night. Rose and Wiskowski will be putting up their belts, and I think wisely, Snuka is saying, I want that man uh, uh, away from the ring. I want him back in the dressing room, nowhere near the ring. He does not want to start wrestling until he sees Wiskowski in the dressing room. Wiskowski slowly making his way, not kind of stalling. A few feet up the aisle. And now he heads back toward the ring again. Snooker does not want to start. Some words and Wiskowski again this time continues up the aisle and he's up into the darkness heading for the dressing room. Crowd urging Snooker to get the rose. Snooker and Ventura will be the challengers when they meet Tuesday. Rose and Wiskowski putting the titles on the line. Rose wants quiet, and of course, those are. Snook a fan, so he'll not get it. And the more he asks for quiet, quite naturally, the more noise we get. A rose bailing out and heading for the dressing room. The count is being told on him. He has 20 seconds. And Jimmy stopped that count by coming up next to the uh, ring by the ropes. Rose back. He was halfway to the dressing room. He is still insisting on quiet. There hasn't been a Hold thrown yet. Now there is. Sunset flip by Snooker. Kicked off. Rose bailing out again. Side headlock. 
throws on Snuka. Flying tackle. Snuka down hard, but a nip up. Arm drag slam, and did he pop him? Jimmy Snuka really slapping Rose to the mat. <laughs> Lifting him with the wing lock about five feet off the air and then letting him fall right down to the canvas. Referee puts the face in Rose's head. Rose went to the air. He gets a toe on the rope. Sandy Barr saying, you aren't getting out of it that easy. Again, lifted with that wing lock and slammed into the canvas. Jimmy Sucker working on the playboy. Sandy Barr, third man in the ring, watching the action carefully. Flying tackle. Rose goes down hard. His leapfrog as he goes for the shoulder throw. Caught again, coming off the ropes with that vicious arm drag slam. King New Englock, Jimmy Snuka on the Playboy, Buddy Rose. Rose is southpaw. That's one of the reasons Snuka working on the left arm. The other is that's what Rose likes to injure on his opponents. He is kicked off going after Snuka, that arm drag slam again. A wing lock well applied. Referee Sandy Barr down there asking Rose if he wants to submit. The playboy holding on to give credit where credit's due. The playboy as well as partner Adriskowski have that ability it takes to be champion, that ability to take punishment. He's much happier, of course, dishing it out. You also have to be able to take it if you're going to make it in professional wrestling and I tell you Rose is taking some right now goes to the hair elbow smash by Rose on Snuka reverse elbow drop is missed there is that arm drag slam and I'll tell you the Fiji Islander is really getting a whip into that move tonight He is really snapping it. And Rose is not just being slapped into the canvas. He is being driven, slammed into the canvas. Good shot, showing the pain that comes from that hold. It's so wing lock, well applied, and by a man with that great upper body strength. Makes it even that much more painful. Jimmy Snooker with the hold on Rose. Rose turning around underneath it. Gets up to one knee. Jimmy Snooker. Great biceps, arms, upper body. All that strength makes this hold that much more effective. Rose gets up to his feet, drives his man into the corner on the ropes. Or a break will be called for and on the break. A knee to the midsection. Goes sailing in, flying in head first after Snuka. Missed and crashed his shoulder into the steel Four ring minutes. post. Snuka with a body slam on the playboy. Flying mare. Rose hits the mat. Reverse leg drop right across the throat. And Jimmy Snuka going for his 
Fiji Island gut buster, but Rose is up there to get him and throws him about 15 feet across the ring. Sucker with his back to his man, a mistake he seldom makes. You've got to keep your eye on your man at all times. He turned his back, and Rose was able to pick him off the top ropes, throw him about 15 feet across. Now body slam him, and it appears he's going to go for his own version of the hold, climbing up to the top turnbuckle, and Stucker catches him by the throat, and the body throwing him about the same distance, maybe a foot or two farther. Flying headbutt. Diving headbutt, covered with a body press. One, two, and I thought he'd had it. Count of about two and a half. Two headbutts after being thrown 16, 17 feet across the ring. Pile driver coming up. Snook a pile driving. A blonde head of the playboy into the canvas, and it's got to be it. He's got a foot on the rope. He is near enough to get a foot on the rope. Snuka picking him up by the hair, bringing him to the center of the ring. Body slamming, and a flying body press off the ropes misses. Buddy Rose rolling out of the way. And Snuka slamming hard into the canvas. Two minutes, two minutes remaining. Rose with a whip on Snuka. Catches him at a shoulder throw and must have put him eight, nine feet in the air. Way up in the air. Snuka down hard. Remember, these two will take their partners and go at it Tuesday night. Rose and Wiskowski defending their title. Sit out backbreaker on Snuka. Rose getting the Fiji Islander way up in the air. Flail kick. A flail kick throw, and I tell you, Rose must have gone four feet in the air. A stop to the ribs. Small to the back. Buddy Rose, and against Snuka. Snuka takes Ventura for his partner at the Challengers. That Tuesday night match stopping an all-star card. A leapfrog and a victory roll by Snuka. And he gets a count of two, and what a move. One minute. Oh, what a classic one we are seeing here. Hard it's interrupt the full Nelson. A Fiji Island full Nelson. And luckily for Rose, he was close enough, and you saw that wild scramble to get to the ropes. Now literally falls off the ropes back into the ring. Snuka has him in the middle of the ring. And again, scrambling for the ropes. His buddy Rose. Snook a little hesitant to give up that hold. Forearm smash uppercut. Covers Rose with the body press. One and Blail kicks out of it. Okay, this is probably just a preview of what's coming when they get together in a couple more days. Jimmy snuck an inside cradle, and I think he's got the pin, but I think the time ran out before he got it. I think he would have had the pin, but at the count of two, time ran out. He got the hold with two seconds remaining, and you have to be pinned for three. Time limit draw. The signal from Sandy Barr. And I don't know if those two are done with each other in the ring. Wiskowski is down at ringside, incidentally. And stuck is hot. Sandy Barr trying to keep peace. Wiskowski came down at ringside. Wiskowski trying to say no. Wait till Tuesday. Wiskowski's trying to keep him out of the ring, and he said no. And Jesse Ventura. Jesse Ventura out of the dressing room.
Jesse Ventura in there with Snuka. So you want to get it on? Let's do it right now. And Rose is hot. He wants to go at him. And Wyskowski takes off. And I'll tell you, we're going behind the barn. There's no way that this is on the schedule. This is set for Tuesday night. And now Rose and Wyskowski are easing out. Well, we thought we were going to see one of the most unusual happenings ever. Rose and Wyskowski bailing out, saying, oh, well.